What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot, here where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truth. I'm your spirit guide host, Miss BC. And today, you guys, we are back with another general reading for this sign of my fellow air sign, Libra. Please understand this will not apply to every single Libra, as every single Libra is not going through the same scenario. Cross watchers, anybody outside the Libra energy, you're more than welcome to join in, tune in. But please utilize this information for the most positive purpose. Spirit told me to talk to you. So I will be using my Ink Romancy 2, okay, Apocalypse Tarot deck. For more information, everything will be in the description box below. Without further ado, Libra, I'm talking to you also. I am not biased. Whatever energies I pick up from my readings, that's what I'm feeling. That's what spirit is putting on my mind to tell you. There is no gender in tarot. And lastly, I do have food in the microwave and will continue for another 37 seconds before it goes off. Okay. Um, I feel like maybe you all are belching. You all are stuffed and hungry. Oh, I was supposed to. This is you all's energy. Ah. A loss of some money. I feel like generally when I finish doing um, a reading, I'll shuffle the deck to kind of clear the energy so that for the next reading, the bottom of the deck card will start or jumpstart the next energy. And you all got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you're losing something or you have lost something of value. I feel like maybe something is depleted. Um, I feel like you had to, maybe you had you destroyed your money or you did you lost your money in a way that it really it's really hurting you. It's like, damn, I'm hurting. I feel like you have it's like you had to either blow up some money or like there's a financial loss that's taking place with you all. Is some form of a financial loss here. I feel like it doesn't have to be a financial loss, but I feel like there is a financial loss. It's like, I feel like it's like when one thing falls, everything else goes down with it. When you burn a bridge, the entire thing is fucked up. Hmm. yeah I feel like you lost something you're letting go it's like damn I need to let this money it's like if you're in a bank and you rob the bank and you get away from the bank successfully it's like you literally have to destroy the money that you took from the bank so you'll get away with it but you have to destroy whatever it is that you took or whatever it is that you lost so it's kind of like, damn, I had it right in my hand and I had to blow it up. It's like you have to you have to lose something in order to save yourself. That's what that, this is going to be. There it goes. See, a timer went off. It's like you have to save yourself and you may have to blow up some shit. Yeah, I feel like this is like one of those movies where I forgot what the name of that movie was, but it was a bunch of military men that went to go take out a, um, a bad guy. And when they went to go do it, they took all of this person's money and then they ended up having a shootout. They made a really, really good plan, but the plan didn't go according to plan. I didn't say the plan was gonna be successful. I just said it was a good plan and it was. They created a plan and it seemed literally like a good plan enough for these military soldiers to go and um, work, this, work this bad guy out of his money and get his money. But it's like when they did it, it came with a bunch of problems. You know, it came with a bunch of problems. So then they ended up just donating their money in the end. You know, all the money that they had. It's like, damn, I did all of this. I went to war and did all of this just so, you know, I could give the money away. 
I feel like, yeah, like you're not expressing something. Maybe you lost something and you're not really expressing it. Maybe, you know, you're not really going after an idea that you have. I feel like whatever the idea is, it can make you lucrative. Like, I mean, it's lucrative. It could make you, you know, better. I feel like you have a million dollar idea, but you're just not, you're, I feel like you're financially lost. So you don't think that it makes sense to even do it. Maybe that's what I can label this. million dollar idea reverse how about that yeah i feel like you're not really using your intuition maybe you're ignoring your intuition yeah i feel like there's some form of a delay happening right now like something might be delayed in this situation i feel like um i feel like you're just i feel like you're waiting for something to blow up it's just like damn this shit gotta blow up but i'd rather go i'd rather go out being a hero than going out being some scum. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're not really using your intuition and you're waiting on something. Something is delayed because I feel like you're not expressing yourself or you're not expressing something. You're just kind of, you know, whatever it is that you're doing. It's like you're planning a bomb and watching all the money blow up only because you have to. This is crazy, Libra. This is like a really good movie I would watch. Yeah, I just feel like you're waiting for nothing. You're doing all of this for nothing. It's like you went through all of this for nothing. You know, it's just like it's in reverse you're doing everything in reverse like there was a loss or maybe there was a loss because you didn't express yourself or you didn't say anything you didn't reconstruct your new idea you didn't implement your idea you didn't plan your new idea you just had an idea and um maybe something was delayed with this idea that you didn't have and you're it's like you're waiting for something that's not coming it's like you have it's like you have an idea and you want the idea to come alive but you're not doing anything to get the idea alive it's like you feel like well i want this so god should just kind of give it to me and god is sitting here like um that's not how i work you're gonna work for this reward you're gonna work for this reward and you're gonna be fulfilled in doing it so you might as well you know what i'm saying you're not really using your intuition, but I feel like that's kind of going to push you into being fulfilled. You, I, I feel like maybe you are fulfilled with whatever life you're living. If you're living, I feel like, I feel like you're hiding from a snake. Maybe it's not money. Maybe it's a home. It's like you are sleeping with a snake and you have, it's like anacondas. You might be, except you might be sleeping with this snake and then you, in order to save yourself, you have to, you know, um, you have to blow yourself up. It's like, you have to trick the snake as the mouse. It's like a snake and mouse kind of game. You know, it's like a snake and mouse. And I feel like in some odd way, you are you like this game. You like playing this game. I feel like you like being chased. You're waiting, you're waiting for nothing. Like you're waiting for nothing. You're waiting for nothing. You're not emotionally attached to whatever it is you're waiting for. That's why there's a delay here. Or maybe there's a delay because you're not really attached to something it's just like i feel like you're you're doing all this you're it's like no for no reason it's like you have a million dollar idea for no reason
Yeah, I feel like it's kind of weird. It's like a it's an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. It's an air sign energy. And then our second card is swords. You know, that's the suits of um, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. I see a lot of emotions. I see a little bit of everything. Cups, a lot of emotions probably attached to this. I feel like something is delayed or something is not happening. Something is not coming and it's whatever you're emotionally attached to. So that girlfriend or that boyfriend, they're not coming. The love for this person is not coming. It's just like, you're just not, it's just like you're slowly but surely dying from this person. It's like, once I die, I'll be brand new. I'll be fulfilled. But I feel like overall the energy is you need to do what's best for you, express yourself if that means it, or you know, utilize that million dollar idea that you have. If you don't, you better.